Coltrane was an American jazz saxophonist. Uh, he was born in 1926 in North Carolina, um, and um, he studied music and learned various instruments uh, in his youth. Uh, in uh, 1945, he joined the Navy, um, and this was his uh, first big experience as a performer, apparently. Um, he joined a, a Navy band uh, called the Melody Masters, um, but despite being very involved, he had to be billed as a guest performer to avoid complications because he was black and the band were officially a white band. Uh, however, by the time he left uh, the Navy service in 1946, he was leading the band. Uh, he had a long career um, uh, in jazz sax. Uh, he worked with uh, names like uh, Miles Davis, Thelonious Monk. He got into free jazz um, and uh, so between 1957 and his death in 1967, he led at least 50 recording sessions and guested on many more. Hi, my name's Dan. So this is an album of jazz. So we've got uh, John Coltrane on tenor sax. We've got a pianist, um, a bassist, of course, upright bass, double bass, um, and drums. Uh, and all the compositions are done by John, Colt John Coltrane. For some reason, I find his name out to say. Uh, some of his soloing is quite random, I feel, especially in the first track, uh, which is called Crescent. It's kind of like he'd whiffle along a bit, and then suddenly it's as if he kind of had a bit of a spasmodic incident of some some kind and just tries to get as many notes out as quickly as possible or um, wants to do something that doesn't relate to what everybody else is playing, um, which is... Which is odd. Some of the other bits are, um, are more kind of straightforward. Um, interestingly, uh, so this was obviously originally released on vinyl. Uh, side two has two tracks. There's Lonnie's Lament and the drum thing. Lonnie's Lament has got um, them playing as a band or certainly has got some sax playing in it. But actually the bulk of it is a bass solo. Um, and the drum thing, again, has some sax in it, but the, bu the bulk of that is a drum solo, uh, which is unusual, um, given that, um, he, you know, John is down as being the leader here, and he's giving large sections to other members of the band and rhythm section people. Yeah. Um, so my favourite track here is uh, Bessie's Blues, which is uh, the third track on the album. Um, and it's it's a nice uh, twelve bar blues. It's um, so reasonably straightforward. Nice feel to it. Decent soloing. I felt. What do I know? It's jazz, and I'm not an expert. Um, I uh, wonder if the version that I've been listening to is a remaster, because the recording seems really nice. Um, the sax is well out front and uh, uh, kind of pops up in the mix quite strongly. Um, as an album, it's okay. Um, there are bits that I like more than others. I guess that's always true. Um, I was not a fan of so, fan of some of the the weirder bits of sax in it, and I felt as a whole the album was a bit, I would say, self indulgent, but it's actually you know indulgent of the the members of the band. Um, so, meh, it's okay. Uh, you might have a more educated opinion of this album or not. You might just have an opinion that you want to share. Um, please uh, let me what you know in the comments. And uh, that's it from me for now.